The high desert region of central Oregon is a great place to practice primitive living skills. Understanding the plants and animals that live in this dry area is critical for learning how to survive in a dry desert environment. In a survival situation, finding a protein food source is critical. Here I found an abundant food source that is easy to catch. All you have to do is flip over rocks to collect scorpions. So we have the scorpion here that we caught and we got a fire going so we're ready to cook it to eat it. And there's a few things I like to do before I, uh, I'm handling the scorpions. People often ask, is it safe to eat them because they are uh, venomous, they have this stinger on their tail. So the first thing I like to do is always uh, just cut that little venom sack off and it pops right off. So now that we got the stinger and the venom sack off the tip of the tail, uh, we can get ready to start cooking this scorpion. Scorpions are definitely edible. They are very popular street food around the world, especially in China. In China, they sell them on a stick with the stingers uh, attached. But I like to take them off just to be careful. The venom is a protein that can cause a severe allergic reaction. Uh, but cooking them denatures the venom and uh, makes it completely safe. And scorpions are tasty. They are not much different than a shrimp, a lobster, a crab, kind of the same family. So um, they're easy food to catch in the desert and they're good. So what I'm gonna do is cook it on a hot coal on the end of this stick. And uh, like I said, I cook it to denature the venom in the tail, but also bugs in general can carry parasites and you can get internal uh, worms and other parasites from eating bugs. So as a general rule, whenever you eat bugs, uh, you should always cook them. And I'm gonna skewer this on the stick and then roast it on the coals. First thing I'm gonna do is kind of uh, put him out of his min misery. So I'm gonna uh, kind of smash him there in his head so he can't really move. And now we are ready to put him on the stick and roast him. Cooking scorpions is the exact same process as roasting a marshmallow on a fire. So if you know how to make a s'more, you know how to cook a scorpion. You go slow and you turn it. Uh, don't hold it too close to the heat. You don't want to burn off the legs. And uh, just make sure that you're turning it evenly so that it cooks throughout the whole scorpion. You'll start to see the base of the legs turn white and juices will start to come out. And after a few minutes it's done and then you're ready to eat it. So here's our scorpion now that it's all roasted. Um, it got a little dark on the legs, but I wanted to make sure to heat it up enough to kill any parasites. And just like a lobster or a crab, the good parts are the tail, comes right off, and um, the claws right there. These claws are full of meat and they're very good. You don't have to worry about the exoskeleton. You can just eat it. And uh, then you got the body here. So I'm just gonna slide this off the stick and now let's give it a taste. So here's our scorpion ready to eat. I'm gonna start with the claws. You know they're good. Now the tail. Kinda crunchy like popcorn and here's the scorpion body. I could eat a bunch of those. If I was out in the desert and needed food, I would be flipping over every rock I could and catch as many scorpions. They're delicious and they're a good source of protein and it's a good survival skill to know how to find food in different environments such as the desert.